Anyone who'd like a question today, please put your hand up and we'll get around to as many of you as we can. We're going to begin with Nick Kewell. Nick Kewell, unmute yourself and away you go. Hey Dan, coming online now. Okay, Nick, I'm Hi, thanks, guys. Um, Thomas, um, frustrating night, I guess. Obviously, you had a lot of chances. Um, was it just, you know, one, one very rare error that um, that's, that's that's cost you tonight, uh, or how do, how do you sum it up? Yeah, of course, and uh, maybe I don't know if we should have got maybe a penalty for for a handball. Uh, in front of the line to 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 save a clear goal was not even checked and uh, then you can see the goal like this and you cannot score from biggest chances uh, but um, in the end uh, we were not on the pitch with the same energy it was it was not easy to to come up with a big intensity in passing because they defended 5-4-1 very very deep all around the box but we were not sharp enough and uh, not with the same energy, not with the same hunger, not with the same attitude and and uh, and uh, like like we used to play. And so it's on us. Um, totally unnecessary, but it's a reality. James Oli. Hi, Thomas. I just wondered if you saw any similarities between this and maybe the West Brom game at home. In the, it's obviously come in between big games. You've got big games coming up. That maybe there's a comparison there with what happened against West Brom. Well, it was West Brom. We were one 0 up, and then uh, we were with ten men, and uh, we were not fully concentrated uh, after after national break. That was that was uh, West Brom, and it was a pretty was well, it was a pretty freak game because we won all statistics and even expected goals. So did we today. So, yeah, you can say now it's an easy one to say this is totally uh, totally lucky win and nobody can argue with that. It is a, not a deserved win, not at all for, for, for Arsenal. But uh, I don't want to go there uh, for 100% because I, I think that uh, we all lacked concentration today. We lacked focus. That is very unusual. Uh, maybe I gave also some signals into the team with changes that uh, Saturday is is uh, on my mind. Uh, and even if it's only five percent or or one percent, this is not how we approach how we approach things. And you get punished because you cannot be naive in in in, in this race for top four. So we suffer now from another defeat. It's uh, hard to swallow, hard to accept, but there's no other way. Liam Plumy. Hi Thomas, um, what did you make of Billy Gilmore's performance in the first half and, and do you think that he can make the next stage in his development at Chelsea as opposed to maybe going on by next season? Uh, well, I was that was absolutely okay performance. We we, we, we put Mason there to, to be, um, because we saw they defend so, so deep and we wanted to have Mason who has a better shot from, from 18, 20 metres to maybe, to maybe be more to maybe be more um, dangerous from 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 distance and um, have a have a have an offensive player like Mason there, so that was not because uh, Billy was bad that we put him. We had a we had a tactical change and tried to put more offensive power for Billy's situation. We will we will talk after the season. Right now he's here, he's doing his job. It's uh, clear that it's very hard for him because uh, we we lacked today in Golo and. Uh, and Matteo Kovacic in midfield, and this is uh, this is huge for us, and it's not fair to put all on his shoulders. But but he did okay, like he did a fantastic match in City, and uh, absolutely okay match today. As uh, he was uh, by far not the problem. Okay, last two: Adam Houston and then Nizar Kinsella to finish. Adam. Evening, Thomas. You uh, you brought in Kepa today. Was that with um, half an hour in the cup final with him getting some rhythm or potentially as a sweetener because he wasn't going to play the cup final? No, no, no. <laughs> cup final, and we thought it's a good idea to to give him to give him the game before because first of all we trust him and 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 he deserves uh, that is the that is the the, the basis for 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 that we put him in the in the lineup. 
so he deserves it. He is so so close. He's so good in training, and we wanted to um, to give him some minutes and to take the both games together. But yeah, this uh, was a was an unlucky night for him as well. Last question is Alkin Hi, Thomas. Um, Hi. How, how hard is it for um, Callum and uh, Oli to show their best form because they're not playing so often? Or, or do they just have to hit the ground running as soon as they come in the team every time? Of course. Of course. It's not hard. They're professionals for, 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 for Chelsea Football Club. It's the opposite of hard. They have, uh, they have the best situation that you can have as sports guys and as footballers. And as a striker, sometimes two minutes can change the whole life and the whole career. So it's not hard. It's not hard. Not at all. They deserve to come on. They deserve to play. They they had a chance today. Was it tough? Yes, it was super tough. But but this is this is how it is. It's uh, um, you 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 sign up for the biggest challenge. You sign up for the for the tough one of the toughest competitions within a team, and uh, we cannot let everybody start. So once I have the, the 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 feeling they can help us from the bench it's it's like this when I have a feeling they help us from from the start they will play from the start but it's it's nothing you cannot handle they 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 they, they work hard for this and and everything is okay and I'm 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 sad because uh, I thought maybe they could have maybe the the, the magic touch today to to help us and um, to to win at least a point but it's not their fault Okay, we'll leave it there. Thanks a bit.